Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to schedule a Zoom meeting right from your phone or tablet. Now this works on iPhone and iOS devices. It also works on Android devices. I have a completely separate video on using the Zoom app for computers, PC and Zen Max, and Zoom website to schedule a meeting. I'll put that in the description just in case you have to do it from a computer. Now, for the Zoom app, download the app if you don't have it yet for your phone. And then let's go ahead and open it up and make sure you sign into it or sign up if you don't have an account. You obviously can't schedule a meeting without an account. So I'm gonna press sign in. And here now I'm inside the mobile app and I just need to press schedule right on top. So I'll press schedule right here. And I really wanna walk you through some of these settings. The first thing is changing the topic of the meeting. That's the first thing you see on top. So whatever you wanna talk about here, type that out. Then the start time of the meeting so you would just select this and pick a date and time. So today at five is fine in this case. The duration of it, I'm gonna leave it on 30 minutes, but you could change that. So now it's gonna know that it's gonna start at five and end at 5.30, so you just have to press the start. You can change the time zone, it's based on your time zone. And you could change if this is going to your calendar on your phone or a different calendar. So in my case, it's gonna say iCalendar because that's just a native calendar, but if you had different apps like Google Calendar installed, you'll get that option. That's what happens on Android. So let's go back. Then you have use personal meeting ID. I always recommend you don't check this on and it will automatically create a meeting ID. Every time it will be a new one and it's a great security feature that Zoom has. So don't check this on if you don't wanna use the same meeting ID every single time, which I don't recommend you do because if anybody gets a hold of it, they could jump into your Zoom meeting. And another security feature is this one. Make sure this is on. It says require a meeting passcode. So even if they know your meeting ID, they can't get in without the passcode. This is all easily shared to whoever you're gonna invite to this meeting. So that's gonna be on. Your passcode's here. Enable waiting room is another security feature. When someone comes into your meeting, they go in this waiting room area where you then have to tell them that they could enter. It'll give you a little pop up there. It's great, but you can turn it off. They give you the option to turn it off if you want. Now the meeting options for video is turned off. So when someone joins and you join, you have to turn your video on yourself. It won't automatically be on. That's a great option. They're off by default. And same with audio. If you select audio here, you could tell people they could join by phone, by device audio. That means if they're using their phone or their computer, or both, maybe someone's gonna call in, it's gonna be an audio call, not a video call, or someone could use their audio on their device and their video on their device. So I usually check the both option. You could change your region here, I usually leave it as is. And there's advanced options, let me show you that. You could actually allow people to join before the host. I never turn this on, I don't want people to join before me. And I could automatically record the meeting. I could turn that on too. I usually don't do that. I do it when I jump into the meeting instead. And I have a different video showing you how to record your meeting. Let's press save on top. And here, before I press add on top, you could see I could invite people under invitees. I could select this and I could press the plus sign and invite people from here. It's very easy to do that before I add, I add this as an event. So I'll go ahead and invite people here. You also could set an alert for yourself. So 15 minutes before the meeting, let me know. You could set a second alert for yourself. And then on the very bottom, if I go to the very bottom, everything about that meeting is set up over here. So if you don't invite people here, I'll show you what to do on the next page. Let's press add on top now. And now on the bottom of the app, if you click meetings, it's gonna show you all the different meetings you have scheduled. So the one I just scheduled for 5 p.m., I could select it here and I could go ahead and add invitees here and I could start it here too. So if I press add here, it's gonna let me send them an email or send anybody an email, send us a message or just copy it to my clipboard where I could paste it on Facebook or any other place I want to, even inside of an email. So this is typically where I invite people after I set up my meeting. I don't do it in the previous page. I go to the meeting tab down here and I invite people this way. And it's really that simple to schedule a Zoom meeting on your phone here. You can also start the same meeting you scheduled on the computer. So sometimes I schedule it on my phone. By the time I get back to my computer, it's ready and I could start the meeting on the computer. They do talk to each other since they're on the same Zoom account. I hope you found this useful. I have a ton of other Zoom 
and other video conferencing tutorials on this channel. I'll put a playlist below so you could find those if you want to see more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.